Have you ever wondered why it is darker down there than any part of your body? I've seen guys saying, I've seen people coming out to say, oh, she's fair on the outside, but down there she is dark. It's possible she's using a bleaching cream. How true is this? Good day, everyone, and welcome back to Nurses Lecture Room YouTube channel. My name is Miss Mary, popularly known as the Nurse with a Difference, and I make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers. Today, I'm going to be giving you two reasons why it is darker down there than any part of the body and how to prevent it from happening. But before we go into details into this class, if you are new on our YouTube channel and these are content you are interested in, please click on that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out. For all my returning subscribers, this is Nurse Miss Mary saying thank you. Let's go there. Welcome back. Like I earlier said, today I'm going to be sharing with you two reasons why it is darker down there than any part of the body and also how to prevent it from getting darker. So there's something I want to tell, which tell you. It is pretty normal for it to be darker down there. Yes, it is pretty normal for it to be darker than day. It usually takes time, like gradually, gradually, the color changes and over time it becomes darker. But if it becomes darker all of a sudden, like it was bright before, it just becomes darker all of a sudden, not gradually, it is something you have to speak to your doctor about. But in this video, I'm going to be telling you two reasons why it is likely going to be darker down there. The first reason I have to share with you is hormones. Yes, hormone. Let me tell you something. Your skin has certain cells called melanocytes. And these melanocytes are responsible for the color of your skin, your hair, your eyes. They are the responsible for the color you produce. I am dark. I am like this today because of that melanocyte that is present in my body. So, in your genital areas that is down there, the skin is more sensitive to certain hormones, particularly women hormone known as estrogen and men hormone known as testosterone. So, down there, the sensitivity is higher compared to other parts of the body. They are very sensitive to these hormones, estrogen and testosterone. So, this hormone sensitivity is responsible for the darker pigmentation down there than any part of the body. So the second reason I want to share with you is friction. Yes, friction. We all know what friction is now. Two things coming together. So friction causes melanocytes to be hyperactive. You know, hyperactivity now. So when there's a lot of friction down there, it causes the melanocytes to be hyperactive. That's the cells that are responsible for our color. It causes them to be hyperactive and create more melanin causing the skin to become more darker. So you may want to ask, what are the things that are likely going to cause this hyperactiveness and increase this friction? Let me tell you, things like your shaving, hair removal products, intercourse, as well as general daily rubbing and friction of the skin. That can lead to hyperpigmentation. So if you are shaving regularly, you are using hair removal products, all this can lead to hyperpigmentation. All this can make the melanocyte down there to be hyperactive, which makes them to release a lot of melanin that makes them darker. So you may want to add, oh, um, some people get confused and carried away by what they see when they watch some movies, they see some parts and all those things, and they are like, oh, they are usually brighter, they are, they are they usually have the same skin color with their body. Let me tell you something, a lot of touch up are being done on these videos before they are posted online for viewers to see. A lot of touch up, a lot of editing usually comes up with the pornography you watch, with a lot of videos you watch online. So never you in this life compare yourself with what you see on social media. Because I had someone was like, most miss me, okay, don't, don't these videos we watch, don't they have, um, don't they have pigmentation, don't they have friction, why is it brighter? Never you compare because a lot of touch up, a lot of editing are being done. You may want to ask, okay, how do I prevent the darkness? I like it bright. I don't want it to be very, very different from my skin. So that's what I'm going to tell you. The first one is wear loose 
fitting clothes you know when you wear tight clothes it makes that area tight you understand there's no air air cannot breathe air cannot penetrate so it is advisable you wear loose fitting clothes then another is moisturizing the skin surface yes using moisturizer let me tell you something why using moisturizer don't use moisturizer inside the vagina remember like i said the vagina is set place it doesn't need you to apply anything down there so why using moisturizer use it on the surface not i'm not telling you to go down there just use it on the surface you can use some moisturizers that is going to help that will help to moisturize that place and prevent unnecessary hyperactiveness and uh, dryness down there and another one is avoid hair removal products you can agree with me that hair removal products causes a lot of friction down there so so these are the various way i know that can help you prevent this darkness extremely darkness down there like i earlier said at the beginning of this video if it's a sudden change from bright to dark it is advisable you see your doctor and if you are having this darker discoloration alongside with stis alongside with inching and you have diabetes still or on any underlying me medical condition please and please speak with your doctor this is just a general education not a specific um not a specific intervention for your own I'm repeating now. Let's just say problem. You get so this is just like I hear education. So it's advisable you speak to your doctor when you notice anything abnormal or any deviation from normal happening to your body system. So thank you very much for staying tuned. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and also don't forget to share with a friend if you got value. For all my returning subscribers, this is not Miss Mary saying thank you. Bye and see you in our next video.